Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 15, Problem Set. Number 1, name the quadrant in which each of the points lies. If the point does not lie in a quadrant, specify which axis the point lies on. So my first thing that I'm going to do to help me out with this is uh, I'm going to make a coordinate plane. I'm not going to number it all. Uh, but I know this is quadrant 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. And I know that my little reminder is it makes C for the coordinate plane, starting with 1, 2, 3, and then 4. That kind of helps me remember that. So I'll do, uh, say, A, B, and uh, E. So let's look at A. Negative 2, 5, if I go kind of to the left, two because I remember I do my x and then my y so I'll label that here's my x axis here's my y so I'm gonna go to the left two and up five so it's somewhere in there that's a so I know that it's quadrant two for b I have eight negative four so if I went over eight on the x down four it's gonna be down in here somewhere it's not exact, but it's giving me just the quadrant, so I know that that's Q4. And then my last one, 0, negative 4. I'm staying right at the origin for 0, and then I'm going down 4. So it's actually right between quadrant 3 and 4, and I see it says specify which axis or axis it's on. Um, the X is right here. And I know it's not sitting on the X, but it is sitting on that Y. So it's going to be on the Y axis. So what we'll take a look at next is uh, 2. Jackie claims that points with the same X and Y coordinates must lie in the first quadrant or the third quadrant. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, explain your answer. I'm not going to go through the explanation here, but I want to give you a quick idea. And the best way to look at this is to try a couple points. So maybe try plotting 3, 3, because they have the same X and the same Y. Or try plotting negative 2, negative 2. Try a couple different combinations and see where they fall. Do they fall in 1 or 3? And then you can explain your answer from there. For number 3... I'll do part A for, uh, for you and explain a little bit about this. Locate and label each set of points on the coordinate plane. Describe the similarities of the ordered pairs in each set. And describe the points on the plane. So I'll do, I'm going to go through and plot all of these on A. So I see I have negative 2, 5. So it's right about there. Negative 2, 2 right about there, negative 2, 7, negative 2, negative 3, I'm trying to get these as close as I can, and then negative 2, negative 8 tenths, that's going to really test my ability, kind of, okay, so I got them on there, enough to see uh, describe the similarities of the ordered pairs in each set. So I'm looking at these ordered pairs. What do I see that's similar to all of them? I see this. A negative 2 as my first uh, number for my coordinate. So for A, I see uh, that all the points in A have a negative 2 in the X coordinate. So that's one uh, thing that I'm noticing, the similarities of the points in each set. Describe the points on the plane. When I look at those points on the plane, they're in a, they're in a vertical line. They're all sitting uh, in a perfectly straight line um, on this coordinate plane uh, and that would be the best way to describe it and it's because of this negative 2 uh, as the x coordinate it's going to make them all sit vertically now 
different from that, if uh, and I'm jumping ahead to see here just to look, I see that the y coordinate is the same. So if the x makes them all sit in a vertical line, the y could possibly do the opposite effect. But you'll see once you start plotting those. Um, I hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.